Hi guys, we have the Camaro finished. 68 AMT Street Machine 68 Camaro Z28 kit that I built to resemble my Uncle Fred's car. He had two Camaros. Um, he had this one and he had a sec of 76, 77. I'm going to use one of the Ravel 79s down the road to uh, recreate that one. That was a standard uh, black one with the orange stripes. Z28 T-tops, the whole, whole ball of wax. Um, his 68, he, when he bought it, it had already been converted. Had the doghouse put on it. Uh, had the wider tires for the rear end. It had the lake pipes. All that stuff was already on there when he got it. Um, it was a turquoise blue. Really, really oxidized out. Um, I bought the paint that was matched that color when I put it on I didn't didn't like it it didn't look like it should like uh, I guess because of the old the original car was oxid so oxidized so I went with this icy blue uh, from testers uh, it's a little bit brighter it, the other one this think was too green to my eyes it was too green for what the car was so we went with that but we did use that that uh, blue for the interior of the car uh, his car had, say it had the doghouse on top. It only had one four barrel with a velocity stack, but we, the kit was set up, and the parts I had was set up for two. So we went ahead and went with two. So we can get two in our Astro stills of this a lot better. Uh, we did the, uh, it's an old kit, so the headlights were actually molded into the grill as part of the grill, so I, uh, did a little bit of a uh, panel liner on it and then put the clear U UV resin over the lenses and to give them a take away the chrome plastic look and make them look more like real 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 light bulbs uh, did the same thing on for the tail lights um, I went ahead and, and made all four red uh, on the original one the inner two would have been the clear ones for the backup lights but I decided to make them make all four red. That was just again a personal choice uh, for it. His car didn't have any badging left on it, so I sanded all the badging off of this car. Um, the only badge it has, it has. I put a bow tie on the back above the gas tank, and it still has the bow tie on the grill. Uh, you can see we did the vinyl top. That was part of the tutorial series that we did. Uh, it was like three or four parts. I think it was three parts. Ended up being shorts, and then uh, those were all been included in the video. So you'll see them. If you watch the regular videos, you'll see them all. But then they're also broken out into shorts for just covering, just covering the the top itself, and how I how I did undo it. Uh, his car did have the traction bars on it. I stole a set out of the '68 uh, Revell Firebird kit. Uh, we had to lengthen the drive shaft because we used the uh, engine out of the uh, 67 Pro Street. Is what we used for the uh, instead of the one AMT motors are, are notoriously tiny, for the, especially on these older kits. It's like a 130th, looks like a 130th scale engine and a 125th scale car. It just it doesn't, they don't look right. The GTO had the same problem, so I usually try to replace replace those motors uh, whenever I can. I said I had a uh, Chevelle laying here for for my stealing parts for it for the Dodge Dart, so I just I threw that motor in there instead. And it does fit. It's tight. It, it looks the way it should look uh, for a hot rod Camaro. I mean, uh, it's in there. It's, it fits in there like a glove. And you can see we do have upper and lower radiator hoses. The alternator has a bracket, so no anti-grab alternator on this one. I didn't didn't wire it, bother to wire it or anything, because this this is my it's gonna sit on a shelf. I mean, nobody's gonna it'll probably have the hood up once every two or three years. Um, speaking of which, the hood is a little bit warped. I couldn't really do much with it. I got it as good as I could get it. Just got to kind of fudge it a little bit so it's a little high in one corner and it, or the other. But it looks right. All right, if I were to, if I were to take it to a show. He put the hood on the sand anyway, and no one would know the better, know any better. The other big downfall of this kit, 
for anybody who gets this over it. I don't, this kit has been popped us many times, many, many times. This uh, this is the Matchbox version, where Matchbox had the AMT Matchbox before AMT Ertl, or before the current AMT one. Uh, the, the tires that came with this thing were just atrocious. Uh, I don't even know where I put them. Uh, I think they're, here they are. They look like mud tires for a car. I'll oh, help if I had them in camera now, wouldn't it? They are horrible. But that's what we had back in the day. But So we went to the parts box for these tires. Uh, much, much better. These will go... These will go into the tire tire bin and probably never to be see light again, light of day again. I mean, you never know. We might need them for something. So, the guys, that's that's our Camaro. Uh, so this is being built for uh, to match the sort of match the one my uncle had, and we were going to be next up. Uh, we're waiting. I'm still waiting on the. Stuff to ride for the Bonneville, so the turkey shoot starts here. From when I'm shooting this video starts in about an hour. By the time the video comes up, the turkey shoots all will be over, um, and we're going to be doing a uh, the AMT or the MPC. Same difference, MPC 77 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am kit. It's the one where you can build it either as a regular Firebird or as the Trans Am. And so we're going to be starting on that in about an hour. I'm going to shoot some pictures, which will be at the end of the video. And with that, I want to say uh, happy holidays, everyone. And good morning, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world when you watch this video. And we will see you next time. Bye.